Honey Dew. Textbook in English for Class 8. Page 84. The School Boy. The school boy in the poem is not a happy child. What makes him unhappy? Why does he compare himself to a bird that lives in a cage, or a plant that withers when it should blossom? I love to rise in a summer morn, when the birds sing on every tree, the distant huntsman winds his horn, and the skylark sings with me. Oh, what sweet company! But to go to school in a summer morn, oh, it drives all joy away, under a cruel eye outworn, the little ones spend the day in sighing and dismay. Ah, then at times I drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour, nor in my book can I take delight, nor sit in learning's bower, worn through with the dreary shower. How can the bird that is born for joy Sit in a cage and sing. How can a child, when fears annoy, But droop his tender wing, And forget his youthful spring? Page 85 O oh, father and mother, If buds are nipped, And blossoms blown away, And if the tender plants are stripped Of their joy in the springing day, by sorrow and care's dismay. How shall the summer arise in joy, or the summer fruits appear? Poet William Blake Glossary Nipped To nip something in the bud is to stop or destroy it at an early stage of its development. Stripped Stripped Plants stripped of joy, if joy is taken away from plants. Working with the poem 1. Find three or four words or phrases in stanza 1 that reflect the child's happiness and joy. 2. In stanza 2, the mood changes. Which words or phrases reflect the changed mood? 3. A cruel eye outworn. Stanza 2 refers to 1. The classroom which is shabby or noisy. 2. The lessons which are difficult or uninteresting. 3. The dull or uninspiring life at school with lots of work and no play. Mark the answer that you consider right. 4. Nor sit in learning's bower worn through with the dreary shower. Which of the following is a close paraphrase of the lines above? 1. Nor can I sit in a roofless classroom when it is raining. 2. Nor can I learn anything at school, though teachers go on lecturing and explaining. 3. Nor can I sit in the school garden for fear of getting wet in the rain. Page 86 Read the following poem and compare it with The School Boy. The One Furrow When I was young, I went to school with pencil and foot rule, sponge and slate, and sat on a tall stool at learning's gate. When I was older, the gate swung wide, clever and keen-eyed, in I pressed, but found in the mind's pride no peace no rest. Then who was it taught me back to go, to cattle and barrow, field and plough, to keep to the one furrow, as I do now? Poem by R. S. Thomas The Other Way Round Quicksand works slowly. There is no egg in egg plant, no ham in hamburger, and neither apple nor pine in pineapple. Boxing rings are square. There are noses that run and feet that smell. Honey Dew You were just listening to this audiobook. 
प्रोडक्शन एसिस्टेंट्स मीनाक्षी कुगरेती एंड तनु गुप्ता रिकॉर्डेड बाय बटीलैंग लिंगडो टेक्निकल एसिस्टेंट्स विकास सांगवान एंड सौम्या मलिक प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अजीत होरो एंड प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाय सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया